It's a great pleasure to welcome to What's Next, Marius Fusser, who is the Metacom CMO. Hello, Marius. Greetings to you. Welcome to you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Aki. I'm excited to be here. Marius, start off by telling us, firstly, who is Metacom? What does Metacom do? Yeah. So Metacom is quite a unique company. Um, you know, we, we've been around for, for give or take 20 years. And what makes us really unique is that we develop our own capability, our own hardware and software to meet the needs of our customers. And specifically with a focus on the ICT sector, um, the, the, over the last 20 years, we've developed a unique product and service offering um, that unlocks value for our customers in the various segments that we deal in. It's uh, predominantly retail, um, industrial segment, and, and financial segment. And really what Metacom is about is developing unique ICT solutions, which unlocks value for those customers. When you look at Metacom, I mean, you guys have got some really exciting stuff happening. What is that special source, if I can use that word, that has enabled Metacom to become a leader in retail communication, IoT solutions, and advanced routers in South Africa, because you guys have really excelled in this sector. Yeah, thank you very much. That's a, a, a good question. I, it's a question I do get asked from time to time. And, you know, there are many elements that I can highlight, you know, things like having a really, really good experienced team, um, having lots of experience in the industry over a number of years. But, you know, if I think about it, I think I can distill it really into one key ingredient, and that is a, a real authentic passion. Um, and it comes straight from, from our founder, from the time Metacom was founded, and it's a passion for technology, a passion for understanding how that technology can make our clients more successful. Um, and really, there's, there's nothing better for Metacom than having an opportunity where our client has a specific need and applying technology innovatively to solve that need. It's, it's what unlocks value for our customers. And obviously, in turn, you know, that's, that's what unlocks value for us. Um, and over time, we've, we've tried to distill that down and, and we've, we've come to something we call the Metacom way, which is really the ethos of how we do things. And um, yeah, it's, it's a bit cheeky, but we say it's doing the impossible for our customers. And um, when we say that, it's all about doing that which is impossible for our competitors to do. Um, things that really make a difference to our customers and, and unlock value. And then I would be remiss to say, um, you know, you can't have that if you don't have a really good quality team and a passionate team that buys into that ethos and that really wants to deliver that as um, part of your company vision and drive. So I think that that is the key to our success over the last couple of years, and that, that still drives everything we do today. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, about a year ago, I mean, you guys have constantly been evolving over the last 20 years, but about a year ago, you launched your newest product range, including enterprise routers, intelligent routers, and remote routers. Uh, can, could you talk about how successful these products have been with your clients over the past few years, what are you hearing? What feedback are you getting back from your clients? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to report. Um, uh, when we last spoke a year ago, we had a number of products in, in, in the pipeline. And uh, right now, every single one of those products have been rolled out successfully. Um, and it's, it's just, you know, it's sometimes a bit humbling. Um, when we're still in the design phase of a product and we start getting orders for that product, um, you know, it, it's, it's testament to the trust that our customers puts in, in our product range. And I think that's the type of trust that you, that you really only get when you, when you deliver repeatedly on our client requirements. And uh, something that we've managed over the last couple of years, and it's, it's often very humbling um, when we have that. But I think I need to expand on that a bit. That, that trust is not only that we'll develop a good product. Um, it's also about being able to respond rapidly to, to the client needs. Um, you know, if we do have an issue with the product, um, we have our own uh, developed hardware, firmware, backend systems, meaning it's all in our control. And we can rapidly respond to anything that may go wrong. And uh, you know, to, to focus on the positive, um, when the customer sees a new opportunity, when we deploy that hardware, it's in our control to actually bring that to fruition. And... Uh, I think that's something that our customers rely on um, and, and that makes um, a big difference to the Metacom 
product and service offering. No, that's brilliant. Now, your, your uh, flagship router in, in the new range that we've just spoken about is the, uh, I think it's the MC7000, if I'm not mistaken. It's an enterprise router. What are the key features that makes it the best enterprise router in the market? Because that's a big claim. Absolutely. Um, that's a big claim, and, and we firmly stand by it. You know, um, I think one of the strongest elements in our router portfolio is that, that it has been developed over the last 18 to 20 years. So it's, it's really a solid, reliable platform that is unique and that meets the needs of our customers. Um, so the MT7000 still supports all the fantastic features of that um, router platform, you know, things like being able to do media, being able to do radio, having, you know, uh, LTE communication, um, fiber, et cetera, all integrated into a single platform. So the MC7000 does all of that, you know, and it, it's, it's um, really meeting the needs of our customers. But we've gone a lot further with the product, um, and we're very excited about that. So firstly, it supports much faster throughput speeds over the SD WAN overlays. Um, it supports things like having multiple GSM engines actively running and um, making use of the best available um, last mile technology based on the service level of those various co um, connections. Um, so it really has taken it to the next level as far as a router platform is concerned. Um, but yeah, it's it's we, we haven't only um, uh, focused on on the hardware. Um, it supports our latest uh, MetaWAN um, communication technology, our overlay technology, which is called WireGuard, um, which really increases the capability of the router to handle multiple uh, networks, if I can put it that way, and to reduce overhead of clients. So it's 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 a it's a it's a refactoring of the product and bringing enhancements on a firmware level, on a hardware level, um, yeah, and, and you know all of it aimed at making the customer more successful and being able to run services better and more efficiently. Very excited about it, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's been out in the market now for at least the last six seven months, and it's performing exceptionally well. Now listen, well done. Uh, I think your customers. Uh, your customers' uh, stories and feedback is testament to what you guys are doing with your with your product range. And listen, uh, you you say you've been around for twenty years, and you guys have constantly been evolving. And it's important to understand what's coming up in order to develop the future routers and all the enterprise stuff that you're developing. Are there any emerging technologies that you're keeping an eye on to deliver even more innovation on your router range? I, I would imagine, you know, the speed at which data is moving and, and the, the pace of AI, for example, and those data sets, that, that obviously is, is, is on the radar, I'm pretty sure. What, what else are you seeing? <laughs> yeah, I, th I, I think you, you spot on. And, uh, you know, I, I already said we, we are passionate about technology and, you know, that, that means we're never happy with the status quo. So, so right now, as we speak, there's, there's a number of new technologies that we're looking at. Technologies that we, we think will make a real difference to our customer. Um, and that includes things like uh, having a router platform that's 10 times faster than we have today, um, actively working on that. It includes things like uh, new SD-WAN technology, which, which we call the MetaWAN, um, uh, which allows us to, to use things like deep packet inspection, etc., much more efficiently to route data based on application layer and to um, uh, to, to use the available uh, communication networks much more efficiently. So we're constantly busy um, evolving our, our router platform. Um, and uh, yeah, we're very excited about what it's, what it's got to bring. But, you know, we don't limit the, the development just on the router platform. We, we support the whole ecosystem. So in the back end, as well as on the router platform, we're busy working on a number of other technologies, things like you mentioned AI. So um, a bit of computer learning there, uh, you know, really enhancing our capability to do self-healing both on a, on a router level, on a network level, really to make, um, you know, the routers even more robust than they are today to ensure that they, they can deliver um, a service that, that we can continue to be proud of. And I think it's quite unique in terms of, of uh, you know, us controlling the entire ecosystem and having a real vested interest in, you know, how that product is supported 
how it uses the available network technology, et cetera. So we, we're very excited about the number of technologies that we're playing with at the moment. And um, yeah, there will definitely be um, a number of releases during the course of 2025 that, that maximizes the value that those technologies offer us. And uh, that's fantastic news, and I, I, I think it's important to state what you said that uh, it's you know you you know it's everything's working in harmony. It's not just one technology; there's a lot of stuff happening in the background. Do you have any exciting case studies of your customer experiences that you can share with us over the past few months that have been showcasing Metacom's success? Yeah, thank you. Okay, I think it, it, it speaks to what we've just been saying, you know, around the customer value, but also the control of the whole ecosystem. Um, so 2024 has been, it's actually a nice time to talk now because 2024 has been a, a phenomenal year from us, uh, from both from a deployment of new services on existing customers, but also new customers. So there's a couple of case studies. I'd love to highlight all of them, but, but um, I think there's maybe two that I can look at first. Let's... The first one is the, the biggest one um, in terms of volume. So uh, very proud of this. Um, so around February this year, um, one of our biggest customers challenged us to roll out new access points together with three new Wi-Fi services to more than 4,000 sites in five countries. Um, and that, that was a real challenge because then they said to us, but we need to do it in four months. Um, no, no pressure. You know, no that, pressure that's eh? a proper challenge. And I think the key to that is, it's not only rolling out that because we control the, the whole ecosystem, it's, it's not only rolling out those APs successfully, which speaks to our project capability and our ability to, to have feet on the ground and, and, and get it successfully deployed. But it's also the unique capability to develop those Wi-Fi services to an extent where it drives revenue for the customer. So in this case, it was a, a back office Wi-Fi system, a staff Wi-Fi system, but also a client Wi-Fi system specifically designed to drive certain services. Um, and we did that in four months, and uh, we're very proud of that. Um, and, yeah, today it's active in the field and it's generating revenue for the customer, and ultimately, you know, that's that's what unlocks value for us. Um, but whilst that's a, a, a very uh, a very big deployment, um, we also had one uh, recently which which is very close to my heart because it's it's it speaks to the value of the service offering. Um, so around June this year, a quick service restaurant chain approached us and um, they asked us if we can help them with the SD1 deployment. And for, for us, um, it was interesting because we got into the chain quite late. Um, they were testing a number of international SD1 providers at the time. And they heard about us from the market and um, they wanted to give us a try. And what stands out for me is this customer really understood what they wanted. So they had a complete test case and they put every product through the same test case. And, and, and we like that. We, we like to be able to prove um, the capabilities. And I, I remember, um, you know, the product was deployed. We typically got it up and running in, in less than a week and we deployed to a live site um, trading. And my, my, my solution, um, architect phoned me the next day and says he's very worried um the client put the product in the field and they removed it immediately and i was you know we were deeply concerned um what what went wrong and we contacted the client and i said no it's it was very simple um they they put the product in um and we were successful in every single one of their test criteria within a day and they didn't see the need to test it further um, and on top of that, we, we were significantly more cost effective than the international solutions. And that really is driven by the fact that, you know, if you have to charge license fees in, in dollars and euros or whatever it might be, it becomes tricky. Um, so needless to say, um, we managed to get the, the order in that case and we deployed the first 200 sites within a two month window. Um, and on top of that, they started adding additional services that they wanted us to offer. And right now we're actually in the process of deploying another 250 odd sites for them. So, yeah, it's 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 the type of case study that we like. We like clients to challenge us. We we give us your worst possible sites um, because you know very often it's we're still up against that stigma about um, you know uh, international products being superior than South African design products. And there's nothing better than to to really see the proof and the pudding. Oh, listen, well done. I mean, those are those are some serious deployments there. And uh, meeting targets, you know, it's one thing to say we can do it, and it's another thing to deliver. So well done on, 
on, on that stuff. So you, it looks like 2025 is going to be a very exciting year for Metacom. What are the exciting plans that you can share with us about the future um, 2025 and beyond, Marius? Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, I've already said uh, we're passionate, and, and, and that means the status quo is always unacceptable to us. Um, we always believe there's, there's new ways to unlock value. Um, so 2025 is no different. Um, I mean, we, we are in the process in this month to release two new products to the market. And in 2025, there's a number of initiatives that we're excited about. Um, I think um, the, first, um, the first thing to talk about is our MetaWAN platform. And that is really where we take SD-WAN to the next level, um, you know, deploying new SD-WAN features that creates more efficiency, that creates more cost effectiveness, um, that creates better visibility for our clients. Um, but then we're also playing with a whole bunch of other technologies. So um, we're currently having a number of uh, power management solutions, I'm talking specifically about uh, intelligent power units for, um, for remote uh, deployments of IT equipment. Um, we've got uh, yeah a, a, a number of interesting products coming to to the market over the next six months, and with that regards. Um, and then I've, I've already mentioned it, but you know we are building on on um, on on automation and uh, AI, for lack of a better word, in order to improve our network performance. Um, so that's something we, we're very excited about. And then maybe last but not least, uh, you know, we are operating in 20 plus countries. So um, we are developing a meta shop platform, which is a new online platform, um, which really is intended to provide accessibility for our customers um, in, in these um, wide ranging markets to access our products and services more effectively. Um, so yeah, entrepreneurs, small business enterprises, et cetera, having access to our products in an easy and accessible way from wherever they 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 are trading. So it's a it's an exciting year for us, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to report back at the end of 2025. Well, Maurice, listen, uh, congratulations to you and your colleagues. You guys have achieved uh, incredible stuff in 2024, and it's great to hear your development uh, timelines going forward. And I'm I've no doubt that 2025 is going to be bigger than 24. So congratulations to you and your team, and thank you for sharing your story with us on What's Next. Marius Fasetter is the Metacom CMO. Thanks for joining us and uh, sharing your story. Thank you, Aki. Much appreciated.